Hello there, this is gonna be a general love reading for all signs. It's very late at night, hence why we are gonna do this with just our hands, right? So it's general. If it resonates, you're gonna know. You'll feel it, don't make it stretch like a rubber band. I mean, our very first card is I want you. There's someone here that desires a particular person. It's three little words, isn't it? It's so direct. They may literally say that to you. Their actions may show that. Some of them might be completely silent, but their actions show that they want you. Actions speak louder than words, right? People can say all kind of shit. They can promise you sun, moon, and stars, but nothing ever happens, right? That's why actions speak louder because they're, it's, actu it's tangibility. They want you. I desire you. I choose you. I need you. There's a need. There's like a yearning, like a pining. I want to feel that way again. Hmm. They, they, they love being around you. They love the way you make them feel. Whether this is in person or just via conversation, I am not available. See, that was the whole thing. It's like, I feel like you both are, like, you're not sure. Oh my God, what if they're not available? I think they're not available. I don't think that's, I don't think that's true. I gotta move these skulls out of the way. I, that's where I keep them normally, but they're kind of in the way here of the cards. You both aren't sure how the other person feels. You both think the other is unavailable. I'm afraid to contact you. Yes, because they aren't quite fully 100% sure. That's just all this boils down to. They're not sure how interested you are, if at all, and vice versa. It's like you guys are both feeling the exact same way. Two people here trying to feel the other out. Holy shit, speaking of feel, I feel you even though we are apart. <sighs> yeah, that flew. You were the best thing in my life. I'm grateful for this spiritual lesson. We will be together again. I'll pick it up right now. Let me go get it and then I can also go get my drink that I forgot to grab. Ugh. So you were the best thing in my life. And maybe they didn't see that in the moment. But you know they see it now. Because of the way you make them feel. It's very Michael Jackson. The way you make me feel really turns me on. You knock me off of my feet now, baby. It's very Michael Jackson, the way you make me feel. There's something about the way you make them feel that it's almost intoxicating. It's like a drug. You know what I mean? It's like... They need it. They want it. They yearn for it. They desire it. You make them feel some type of way that nobody else does. And they want more of it. The moon's secret. The wheel of fortune. The wheel's turning. This change. Change is coming that you, you didn't see coming. It's going to catch you fucking off guard. It's unexpected change is what this is. Now, both cards here speak of cycles. The moon is phases and cycles. The wheel of fortune is cycles. It's karmic cycles for some of you, right? But also the wheel of fortune is auspicious. It's destiny, fate, fortune, and luck. There's something here you don't see coming that's very auspicious. It's prosperous as well, too. Some of you had your finances blocked and it's not being blocked anymore. Page of Pentacles, that's a conversation. That could be a text, that could be a message or a phone call, but that's conversation. It's an offer. 
not a huge one because it's not the Ace of Pentacles, but that's some kind of an offer. Four of Swords. Someone here is laying low. That's what I heard. Is the connection laying low? Is the feminine laying low? See, now there's the fucking offer. Oh, told you. See, it was, it goes from this to this. It's like laying low brings it out. I don't know if that means no communication. I don't know if that means chillaxing, living your best life. I don't fucking know. But Page of Pentacles is a small, tiny offer. There's a big, fucking huge one. And also when we talked about your blessings being blocked up here, right? This is it not being blocked and you getting something really huge. This could be a huge sum of money. This could be a job offer. Ace of Pentacles is usually a card of moving or career change. It could be one of those things as well, too. King and the Queen of Swords. Woo ice Queen and the Ice King. Okay, they both have a sword. You do have the Hermit here, which we'll talk about in a second, but I'd like to point out that they both have a sword. But you see how this is also really symbolic that Four of Swords of like they both are putting their sword down. The both of you might normally really be on guard, maybe defensive when it comes to love and emotions and relationships. But in this case, they're both putting their sword down. They're both becoming vulnerable. They're vulnerable with each other. There's this like almost safe, I don't know, it's like a safe, homey, peaceful energy that you get with each other. That's, that's why they want more of that because you make them feel at peace. You make them feel comfortable, at ease. Even in silences, you guys could sit in silence and feel super fucking peaceful. They're going to get the best night of sleep too. You guys are both going to sleep really, really well when you sleep with each other. I, I can just feel it because it's the peace that you bring each other. Nobody else has ever made them feel like this. They feel safe. There's protection here. There's um, understanding here. You understand each other. Seven of Cups, options, decisions, choices. I mean, the King of Swords is very decisive. It's like this person makes up their mind. They choose you, Eight of Wands. That's big ass movement. That's also communication. They decide to communicate. They decide to reach out, right? Swords are thoughts. It's communication. They decide to reach out. They don't know how they're going to, what they're going to say. Well, should I come at it from this angle? Maybe I should say this. Maybe I should say that. It's like they, they weren't quite sure how to contact you, what they should say. And the hermit, it could be that they said nothing. Because a hermit is self. They keep it to themselves. But this hermit is beautiful because, and it's under the four of swords. It talks about healing. This is about spiritual journey. This means this person is cracking the fuck open. Right, their, their, their consciousness is raising. Higher consciousness. They're ascending higher. But there's been some sort of uh, stress around what they're going to say. How they're going to say it. And also being that they know the Queen of Swords will receive it. Being nervous how it will be received. Um, almost walking on eggshells when they need to communicate. Seven of Pentacles waiting. I heard the wait is over. The wait is over. Remember the wheel turns. That's why the wait is over. It's time. Five of cups. They miss you. This person, yep, see, king of cups, bottom of the deck. They fucking miss you. They think about you when you guys are not together. They think about you when you're not in communication. You tug at their heartstrings. You make them feel some type of way. Remember, again, it's Michael Jackson. The way you make me feel. You really turned me on. You knocked me off of my feet. Now, baby. Temperance, that's Sag. Temperance talks about restlessness, it says on the card. They feel restless. Remember, they feel at peace with you. You make them feel comfortable at ease there's the tree speaking of the hermit talking about spiritual growth right this talks about personal growth and that's exactly what's happening here they're evolving also confirms past lives that you guys have together 
definite past life vibe. You have a ball and chain, heaviness, addictions, codependent, emotional baggage, unhappily married. So this could definitely be the, the energy that, you know, both of you may have experienced in the past. This is the fear, right? The fear is I've been in some shit and it broke my fucking heart. I've been in some shit and it was devastating. I don't want to be in a codependent relationship. I don't want to be trapped. You know, it's like, that's what the whole spiritual ascension and healing is about is healing all that shit and understanding that what the person from the past did to you don't mean the person that you're meeting now is going to do the same. Like you're both in a different headspace and it's like this weird feeling of trust and you don't know why you trust each other, but you do. The sky sudden, unexpected and shocking and surprise all of the above. Remember I told you it's going to be like shocking when the wheel turns because it's unexpected. With the moon, right? It's the moon's what you don't see coming. You don't see some sort of sudden, unexpected change. And it will be shocking and it will be a fucking surprise. Look, it's going to come in like a bat out of hell. So the change here is going to be sudden and very fucking abrupt. Because the stallion energy talks about really wild. It's motivated. It's driven. It talks about really strong emotions and desire and sexual energy. It's like when the, the, the switch gets flipped, it's fucking green light go. Pedal to the metal. They're going to be just see the heart. They're going to be just like that. The, the, the heart the light. That's the switch. Something switches inside of them. Their heart. And they decide, and then they start coming forward, and it's going to be very aggressive. They're going to chase. That ass is what they're chasing, okay? They're going to chase that ass. The heart light here has been turned on. The heart card talks about love and romance, joy and bliss. You have desire again. They desire you greatly. You have affection and kindness, but the word forgiveness is in there. So there may be something here about forgiveness as well, too. When they know for sure, they're going to come at you real, real aggressive and strong. But that don't mean their tone going to be aggressive. They're going to come to you soft, right? Because you guys, they, they're going to, you, you guys have mental telepathy. They're going to intuitively know how to come at you. My point here, though, is that it will be aggressive in the way of you won't be confused thinking, I don't think they like me. He didn't call me. He didn't text me. I don't know. He didn't respond. He like left me on fucking read on red trophy. Someone who's really successful. Somebody could be in the public eye. He talks about fame. And the butterfly bitch transformation, evolution of soul. This person has a huge fucking transformation. They are the caterpillar. They wake up tomorrow. They're the fucking butterfly. Here we go. Their, their transformation is sudden. And maybe that's what you don't expect and you don't see coming. Look at that. The storm. Storm brewing. The tornado. And I heard in my head the lyrics from um, Marshall's song. It's like when a tornado meets a volcano. Two forces of nature that come together. Two powerhouses. This is going to be a power couple. Two forces to be reckoned with. Ooh, the sun. The sun is a yes card. Yes. It's not just yes. It's fuck yes. Right? The sun is energy and power. It says climax. So this thing is peaking and it's going to come to a climax. Pride, success, divine masculine, and daytime. You ever heard the song by Taylor Swift, Daylight? Go look up the lyrics. Go look up the lyrics. We just had the Northern Lights, right? Aurora Borealis. What, what caused the Aurora Borealis? An eruption from the sun. So great that it affected the geomagnetic grid around Earth, causing people in crazy places to see the Northern Lights. There was a sudden awakening here. Sudden. In a blink of an eye, overnight, they change. Because something in them activates, something in them heals. The sun is also healing energy. They heal all their past trauma because there's something about you that they feel like they just trust you. And maybe in the past they would meet people that they were interested in, you did, but you just didn't quite trust them. Something in your gut was just always kind of like, mm. you guys don't feel like that with each other. There's instant trust here because it's not your first fucking rodeo. You have um, the tower. 
Oh, I love this energy because it's raw energy, aggression, desire again. Anger. They may, you know, they may get angry. Maybe they get a little jealous. Survival instinct. They have extreme survival instinct. Impulsive, lust, sudden change, action, and aggression and chaos. That's all. That's the masculine energy in a nutshell. There's sudden change. There's action here. They're aggressive. But they desire you greatly. Some, it's like the light bulb just turns on. And all of a sudden, I only have eyes for you. Right? All of a sudden, they only... Yep, look at that motherfucker. Oh, my God. It's like I'm psychic. Look at how he's looking. I only have eyes for you. See that? Bitch, I'm telling you, they, they, they lock the fuck in, right? So this is the devil, which first of all is Capricorn energy. It says eyes on the prize. Mm, do they have their eye on that prize? All right. Mm -hmm. They're locked in. They're, it's laser focus. They're going to be laser focused on you. And maybe before they weren't. Maybe before they were, but they didn't show it. They're going to show it now. The garden, see public. They're going to be public about it. They're not going to hide it anymore. It does also talk about meeting, event, and a date. They might ask you out on a date, just period. They might ask you out. They might say, hey, so would you like to go out on Wednesday for coffee? Hey, would you like to go out to brunch on Sunday? I'm not ready yet. Sentimental. Oh, you got them in their feelings. Oh, my God. My God, my God. They missed the shit out of you, bitch. They're in their fucking feelings. Oh, you make them feel some type of way. Pampered. Oh, they're going to love you tender. Love me tender. Love me sweet. Never let me go. They're going to pamper the shit out of you. Oh, oh, my God. You're going to be a spoiled bitch. Oh my God, I mean, I'm talking gentlemen. Open the door for you. Hand you, if they go and they make themselves, get themselves a drink, they go get you a drink. And they, they're always asking, are you okay? What do you need? I got you. I, I don't, don't do this. I got this. Don't worry about that. I got it. You're going to be treated like a fucking queen. As you deserve. As you deserve. Oh my God, look at that coffee date. Told you, they might just ask you out to coffee. You also had luxury because I'm telling you they're gonna pamper the shit out of you. But this is bouginess <laughs> in a nutshell. Somebody who likes opulence, someone who likes luxurious things, you know, someone who likes the finer things in life. They may provide you a life of luxury. But there's that coffee date, you have affection and hidden truths. If they have hidden their affections for you, it will no longer be hidden. It's coming out. And it's going to come out quickly and shockingly and suddenly. Detach. See, that's why. Hidden truths and detach. They tried to maybe pull away. They tried to isolate from you, but what they find is when they pull away from you to isolate and detach, all they feel is you even greater. Look, they're surrounded by fucking water, which is kind of goes against what they're trying to accomplish. They're detaching and pulling away to not feel, but they're finding I feel them even more when I'm not in contact with them. It's the fucking opposite of what they're trying to accomplish. And I think in the past, they've tried to hide, right, the way they feel. They tried to hide their affections from you. They tried to hide their feelings for you. And they can't do it anymore. You have pink potion, which is basically like the Ace of Cups. Their cup runneth over. They feel so much emotion. See, look, the comfort told you. It's like peace, ease, comfort. There's some sort of weird peaceful comforting energy between the two of you like i said you guys will sit in silence and be comfortable there's something about the two of you and the combination of your energies it just brings oh look alchemy two extremes two extremes that come together to create magic that's the two of you 
might be opposites, but you guys have so much in common. You're basically like fucking mirrors. But you'd be very different as well. It's alchemy. It's also alchemy from them, right? Their heart changes. Their feelings might change overnight. It goes from one thing to the other. That's alchemy. It goes from friends to lovers, platonic and business to romance. Nostalgic. Oh, they're thinking about something. It's a recent encounter. Something about thinking about something trapped. See, they can't stop thinking about it. And there's the communication. Bitch, here we go. Told you. They're going to fucking communicate. They're going to reach out. And it, it will be very unexpected. So let's say, for example, it's unexpected in the point of you wake up in the morning and you find that they texted you at 6 o'clock in the morning. You go to your... Or... Or you're at work and you never hear from them at work around that time that they text. It's lunchtime. They're busy or whatever. They text you at fucking 11 a.m. And you're wondering, what the fuck is he texting me at 11 a.m. for? He's supposed to be working. He, I never talk to him at this kind of time of day. It's something very unexpected because they just do it. They just do it. They just shoot from the hip. They just do it. Remember, it's instinct. Sudden instinct primal instinct melancholy bitch they miss you they've been thinking about you oh you got them all up in their feelings intoxicated yep that's the way they feel with you you are like this intoxicating drug nobody makes them feel the way that you feel liberation and this feminine here be living her best fucking life She's living her best life. She's over here being free and doing her thing thing. And she just is unbothered. She's she, that don't look like a damn butterfly. So this feminine is literally living her best life. Some of you may be traveling a lot, right? Some of you are catching flights here. But this is symbolic of the feminine is on the go. She's hard to get. She doesn't just stay in one place and wait for a motherfucker to choose her butterfly is you can't catch one because it'll run it'll elude you you gotta sit in your place of peace and comfort and the butterfly comes to you it's like black cat divine a uh, dark divine feminine energy you don't chase a fucking black cat you let the black cat come to you and that's what the dark divine feminine energy is like she will never chase she will never chase you if she approaches you, it's because she feels comfortable and she's allowing you in her sacred space, but she ain't gonna chase you. You have taboo. I feel like they don't know what you're thinking and it bothers them. Soul connection. And they feel you when you are part. Remember, there's the chaser. Told you they're gonna fucking turn it up. They're gonna turn it up and they're gonna get that ass. No sparks. That's what they think. They, they see, I told you, they can't read you. They don't know if you're feeling it. What if they're not feeling it and it's just me? Right? They're, they're, that's why I said the communication. They're like really trying to figure out how can I say this without sounding so direct because I'm not quite sure just yet if they're interested. I think if they knew that you were fully interested, they wouldn't be so, dare I say, freaked out. nervous maybe is a better way to put it holy shit eight of pentacles look she doesn't expect it you may be working you may be really busy someone here may use work as an excuse as a distraction they're workaholic right being very successful requires a lot of work there's some kind of a work connection here with the eight of pentacles as well and here we have temperance. See, that's the extremes. You have the moon and the sun. That's the way the two of you are. You're very different, but yet mirrors. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. This is the energy of patience as well, too. This masculine is being guided. You can see there's a guardian angel behind him. There could be a guardian angel here that is helping to bring the two of you together. Yep, lovers, bottom of the deck. Mm hmm. So this masculine here also might be feeling this intuitiveness of what to do, what not to do, what to say, what not to say. But you can see here they feel the connection absolutely wholeheartedly. There's a king of swords again because he's got to figure out what to say. He's already chosen. They're very decisive. 
They already know what they want. This is a very intellectual person, someone very smart. This is somebody who's good at business. This could be someone here who's also very logical sometimes. They get in their head when it comes to feelings is what I just heard. So they may not be very logical all the time, but when it comes to love and emotions, that's where they get very, very, they overthink it. And with the lovers being a card of, you know, not just Gemini energy, but it's also the card of, of um, a decision in love. They make some sort of decision in love after a period of contemplation, after a period of confusion, of deep reflection, four of wands, Look at that. She looks so free. Some of you have found union in self and that's how you find a twin, right? Twin flame. If you resonate with that, it's all about I found you and I found me. This bitch is living her best fucking life. She's become in union with self. Four of Wands is stability. It's new beginnings as well too. The fuck is this? The tower. Lightning strikes. Lightning struck both of you actually. Lightning struck two people here. That's the lovers. Lightning strikes both of them. In a blink of an eye, everything changes. Page of Swords. See, someone here might like to read. They love to learn new things. Page of Swords can also be possibly a younger air sign. This can also be someone here who's got a lot of ideas. And then here you have the Five of Cups, which... See how she's releasing something? What is she releasing? Releasing her fears. Releasing expectation. Releasing old versions of herself. She's saying goodbye because she feels a new beginning coming in. She's ready for the new. She's creating space. So some of you here could be purging. You feel this need to purge. You feel this need to say goodbye to the old. Hello to the new. Let's get into your extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video, the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on the first one. It's going to take you to my website. And from there, you're going to look for the special love slash oracle readings. Um, and the extended readings. Uh, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Check out my lives that I do there. I also post a bunch of funny memes and videos and stuff because laughter is the best medicine. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I will see you in your extended. Love you.